So where's the cabin for the rotary dock delta? Fuel valve, ignition switch, engine monitor, uh, programming, manual mixture control, cold start, A and B uh, controller circuit, so it has a redundancy in the engine computer, throttle, dual high pressure pumps, uh, has a redundant electrical system, here's a uh, crossover, primary and secondary bus, uh, so it's redundant in electrical, fuel, ignition, and has a dual staged uh, fuel injection. So if I can start it uh, one handed. Airplane secure. Fuel pressure. Cold start. circuit uses manifold pressure and air temperature and the B circuit is a manual mixture only and then we can adjust timing manifold pressure mixture uh, here just by simply selecting the right mode increasing or decreasing whatever value and hit the program store button adjustable pitch electric prop there's also an emergency auxiliary switch for power that uses no uh, solenoids so the primary bus operates critical systems and then the other bus operates uh, non-critical systems so this crossover here will is off on or automatic uh, to interconnect the uh, two batteries and buses and charge them There's also a maintenance shutoff valve and spin on fuel filter at the tank, the valve in the cockpit, standard aircraft gasculator, uh, fuel filter at the firewall, as well as two high pressure uh, pumps and filters. And the high pressure pumps and filters are not ran in line with each other, they're ran side to side. So one of them cannot uh, cause a flow problem for the other. This is your main fuel line going to the firewall and the return line going back to the tank.
and not a uh, visual one in the back this doesn't do anything we also have the coolant pressure vacuum for the gauges everything else is pretty standard aircraft this aircraft has standard uh, right and left brakes, differential brakes, and rudder pedal nose full steering. Most Deltas do not have that, but this one has uh, conventional brakes and steering. The Elevons.